Hey everybody, welcome back to another Theta Network update for August 2nd, 2023. It is Wednesday, so hump day. Hope you're all having a good one. And yeah, let's go over that Theta news. What is going on? And I'm just going to be straight up. Really nothing happened this past week, so this is more of a Theta community uh, update for you. But I guarantee after I upload this video, something big's going to happen. It just always happens. It's like I click post and then I go back on Twitter and it's like, that happened, so, ah, but let's go over what I got so far. First up, we got a, a question about the Theta swap feature in the app. This is from Joseph to Jay Long and Mitch Liu. They were like, are you bringing back the swap feature back into the Theta wallet on iOS? This was a killer, it saved a lot of hassle. Any updates? Thank you. And uh, we had a response from the community saying, here's a nice little workaround. Like there was an issue with the Google app for iOS. If you have the iOS device, meaning the Apple, open the wallet as usual, press the apps in the lower screen, then in the search bar, just type in swap.datatoken.org and it functions exactly the same as before. He's like, I use it like that multiple times a day. And uh, Theta Network did confirm that does work. They were like, yes, this is a good workaround for the use of DataSwap directly from the iOS Theta wallet. And he, they were also like, Apple Store has been strict sometimes by the like, crypto transactions in iOS apps, but we intend to restore the feature natively in the app in the future. So there you go. So if you still want to use the app on the mobile phone in the app, that's how you would do it. All right, what else is going on? We got a new episode of the Pops and Mags Pinecast out this week. And this week, the boys talk about the Skull and Banana Society, Secret Pineapple, because there's some big news with Fuse Wars, and the Insiders about the WWZ. I remember they talked about that last week. Also, Wes Sherwin's final Theta TV stream. So they talk about that as well, and the ThetaCon 2022, and much more. So check it out wherever the fine Pinecasts are downloaded at. So you can listen to it at popsandmags.com. Or you can also just listen to it on Spotify, which I always prefer to listen to it on. And yeah, speaking of Wes Sherin and like his final stream, like he has a new project out there called The Outliers, and it is an NFT on the Theta Open Theta Network. So yeah, Sheriff Popper was like 1,000 T fuel, or as the kids say, $40. <laughs> that's right, the kids nowadays still say for it's like soon we say T fuel because that's what we're using. But hey, take a swing at it. Is as an executive producer on a docuseries about bringing truth back to journalism. Each NFT gives you access to vote on and watch and have upside potential in the final product. I'm involved and looking forward to it. And again, not financial advice. And yeah, so get your outliers today and forever discount. So yeah, this will give you access to, yeah, are you tired of the mainstream media controlling the narrative? Outliers gives you the power to produce a 10 episode show that explores the stories that matter to you to take control of the narrative. Each episode has 100 unique NFTs. So I guess this is, good. This is kind of like working how the uh, Space Junkies worked out. If you held the NFT, like you got to vote like on how that next episode was, how it's working. And yeah, it's like each one of these has different like like NFTs for it. It's like the digital NA looks like that, the conspiracy theories document series, and the financial independence. So yeah, it's a pretty cool. And Wes Sherman was just like, thank you for the T-Fuel clarification, lol. <laughs> and thank you, my friend. This is a team effort, and I'm honored to have you on the team. You were so close to getting the Tuesday chance win both times today. So very cool. So yeah, so that's what's going on on the Wes Sherman and the Pops and Mag side. And then I think they even mentioned Fade and what's going on and here's a tweet from them the other day beginning tomorrow at datacons el presidente brian macer or otherwise known as no nope, just brian macer <laughs> will be back to streaming on a weekly basis while ramping up to datacon 23 in austin texas november 2nd to 5th come hang out with us on theta tv slash datacon tomorrow morning 4 30 a.m u.s eastern or the evening at 7 p.m so this is happening today so like the 4 30 a.m already passed but you can still check out the 7 p.m if you watch this video and get that heads up about it. So yeah, definitely check that out if you're excited for ThetaCon. Also, Crypto Insider gave a nice little shout out to Levita AI and talked about what's going on with them. Levita AI, a health data marketplace powered by Theta Network, has been accepted into the prestigious Google Cloud for startup programs. Very nice. This exclusive global initiative is specifically designed to provide startups with the essential tools, knowledge, and backing required to propel growth and achievements to new heights. Levita is set to receive a substantial amount of funding for Google Cloud and Firebase usage. Now, this funding will fuel their product development efforts, propelling them to new levels of success over the next two years. Congrats, Levita, and congrats, Theta. So, yes, this is tremendous news. And, yeah, if you want to be a part of those, uh, what was it, those uh, workarounds on the edge node system, uh, yeah, so the AI jobs are becoming to edge nodes. Like, be sure your hardware is up to date and you can handle it. So, these are this, this is like the rules required for saying the edge node and what the minimum requirements are. So yeah, your internet speed needs to be at least five megapixels. 
uh, up and down. The CPU has to have a four cores or more, memory at least 16 gigabytes or more, free hard drive space, so at least of 64 or more. Best works with 256 gigs, and the GPU is optional, but NVIDIA GPUs with CUDA enabled and CUDA enabled GPU can greatly accelerate the AI tasks on there. But that is it for this Theta Network update. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Price of Theta right now is at $0.75 cents with a market cap of $757.8 million. Trading volume is at $13.3 million. And total stake nodes, 3,029. Now, the Theta staked and locked away to these nodes out there is at 55.44%. So that's really has not been changing this entire bear market. So it just shows you that people are just still just leaving it, forgetting it, and earning their T-Fuel with it. So very, very nice. Now, T Fuels prices at 0.041 cents with a market cap of $260.1 million. Trading volume is at 5.9 million. And total elite edge nodes is 8,206. The T Fuel staked and locked away is at 38.72%. Now, taking a look at T Drop, price stayed exactly the same since last week, but we're at 0.0014 cents. Market cap 15.3 million, and the trading volume is at $53,890. Now, the change between Theta and T-Field percentage-wise, Theta is down 1.71% in a 24-hour period, and T-Field is down 1.28. And as always, we finish off with the movement of Theta here on FieldLeak.com. It looks like the price just went under that $0.75 cents mark, but if you round up, it's at $0.75. But right now, we're currently 0.74, but transactions are going crazy. So very, very nice. Love seeing that people are just probably picking up <laughs> some Theta while they can at these prices because, yeah. Bear market's just about done, bull runs just around the corner, and everyone's getting excited and just stacking their bags. But I do hope you guys did enjoy this Theta Network update, and if you did, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button for me, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.